Hey, it's Johnny Group from WildmanTraining.com. I don't know if you haven't heard, but the uh, United Auto Workers Union, I did a video not too long ago, pissed a lot of people off. Well, they just laid 500 more people off. Before that, 2,000 people. So now there's people without work. Okay, I don't know how that works out and benefits you, but I do know that the union notoriously protects the bums, protects the fucking people that don't do shit. Um, one of the things the union do, which makes no sense to me, is they will fucking keep people that are seniority over people who don't have seniority, even though the people who have lower seniority work a lot harder than the people that don't, and the people that don't do shit will keep their jobs. This makes no sense. I've seen that. I've worked around this my whole life, okay? All the trucking businesses I've worked around since the 1980s, all gone, all out of fucking business, all union carriers gone, opened up, a lot of them opened back up under nine union, right? Well, UPS, another union place. I can tell you right now how that place fucking works. Supervisors are non-union, drivers are union, okay? Drivers, if they work a little too hard, they get pissed off. It's like, well, when you came for the job, did you realize that you weren't going to, did you think you weren't going to work? You get paid that type of money and you think you were going to go out and fucking it's going to be a luxury fucking day? Come on, people. So these people, what they would do when they get a couple extra boxes, they'd fucking park around the corner wait until close to fucking we have to have it all out in the trucks and down the road to go to the airport, they'd bring it all at one time, so then we'd have to work. Well, I was a supervisor. I applied for package handler. They wanted to give me a supervisor job because I had a lot of experience, so I said, okay. Working with these fucking crybaby truck drivers, they'd come in quick. We'd have to, I'd have to get in there and I'd have to fucking work. You know how many times I was threatened with grievances because I was working? Because they were sitting around the fucking corner being fucking bums, being crybabies? Yeah, happened a lot. Well, asked them to get a truck backed in. Oh, I can't. You can't do that. We got to wait for a, a a union driver. Well, guess what? I have a Class A CDL. Guess what I did? I fucking hooked up to the fucking trailer, backed in, and we got the fucking job done. That was my job to make sure it went down, and I made sure. Another time, a truck driver out there, one of these UPS boxes fell over. Big fucking guy. He couldn't lift it up. I said, I'm going out there. I went out of the way and fucking drove like fucking 15 miles. I fucking picked it up and threw it right the fuck back up. That's the union for you. People always told me how hard they work. Remember the Twinkie factory that went out of business? They were making $23, $24 an hour, and they wanted to take a, they wanted to give the people a pay cut to a restructured. And if they, they told them if they didn't do it, they were going to close down the factory. Well, the union decided they weren't going to take it. They closed down the fucking factory. 25, 30 years working on an assembly line, stick, sticking fucking cream cakes into a cellophane wrapper. What experience do you fucking have? What you could have done is kept the fucking job at $22 an hour, $21, whatever you want to knock you back to. Stayed there, still fucking maintained the paycheck. And if you didn't like it, you could have looked for another fucking job. Or you could have stayed longer, waited, and see how it came out. And if, and if it didn't, then you could still leave. But you'd rather you chose to fucking not take a job. Okay? That's union mentality. That's the union fucking mentality. The union will do everything for me. I'll be lazy and incompetent. I got the union to have my back. You don't like it. It's a fucking fact. I've been around it my entire life. I see it. I know people in it. I know tons of people in it. The union was good at one time. That's why now, today, people do not fucking want unions. They don't want to be around them. They don't want to be in them. And there's fucking why people do not want to fucking join them.